Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to continue taking the Kyosho Phaser Mark II brushless and getting it ready for USGT class racing. As you can see, I've already taken out all the electronics in the previous video. If you haven't seen the disassembly video, I'll leave it right here. So in this video, we're going to be installing the ESC and the motor. And we're also going to take this opportunity to swap out the 32 tooth to a 37 tooth pinion gear. All right, let's get started. First thing we need to do is to remove the motor mount from the brush motor. And we're going to start that by removing the pinion gear. Should just pry right off. Again, the stock pinion gear is 32 tooth and we're going to change it out to 37. So you can see we have two screws right there. And it's going to be the 2.5 millimeter screws. If you're not changing pinion gears, you can just continue to the next step. But since I'm going to be putting in a pinion gear with more teeth, which is a little bit bigger, I'm going to refer to page 26 here in the manual. And we're going with the 37 tooth, which is going to be the screw holes labeled I. All right, I have the screws in the holes labeled I. And the motor mount sits on the chassis with this being on the bottom. And I need to make sure the motor leads are going to be on top. So I'm going to be more or less in this orientation. So I'm going to fit into these two holes right there. So let me make sure I did it properly. All right, looks good. The wire leads on the top of the motor. Next, we're going to put the pinion gear onto the motor. And as you can see here, they're recommending that we have a eight millimeter space between the top of the pinion gear and the motor itself. And don't lose the little grub screw. For the grip screw, I'm going to need a 1.5 millimeter hex screwdriver. Now I'm going to put it on the motor and you need to pay attention. The motor itself, there is a flat part right here that we need the grip screw to line up with. So let's do that first. And that eight millimeter is actually from the top of the pinion gear to the motor mount. All right, I think that's gonna be as close as I can get. That's a little bit better. All right. Now the motor is ready to go. Now, before I place the ESC, I want to just dry fit these cover pieces back on. And this piece right here, as you can see, we have a nice little gap there. So I'm going to make sure I leave that for the motor. So I have the ESC here and the wires i think i'm going to make the wires as short as possible and just go directly over the motor like that i'm probably going to need to get rid of this fan or not use this at all i'd like to preserve the look of the car as much 
possible. So I'm going to take off the fan for now. And it's just a 1.5 millimeter and these four screws. All right, there is a little plug there. We need to be careful removing. Okay. And now we can set this back down again. And let's see, All right? That's going to be a good fit. And the motor leads are going to be relatively short. I can probably back this up just a little bit, give myself a little bit of breathing room. But I think this is going to be a very short motor lead. And to double check that we have enough room, I'm going to put this back in here. I believe it's like this. And I just want to make sure I have enough room for the receiver. So I'm going to be really tight. Right there. So the receiver is going to have to be right up against the ESC. And the ESC is going to have to be almost right up against the motor. Right, I'm going to be using this double-sided tape to mount the ESC, so let me just eyeball out a piece here. And then A, B, and C is right there. Just going to make sure those line up straight. And just to double-check. I was hoping the battery wires are going to come out this little notch right here for a cleaner look, but it's not going to happen. So I'm just going to let it come out with the motor leads. And so it's going to look something like that. All right, let me mark that and get ready to cut. Okay, I'm not the best soldering person in the world, so I'm not going to include that in the video in case I'm doing something wrong. I don't want to teach anybody any bad habits. So let me take this downstairs and solder it and come right back. All right, I'm back. These are soldered onto the motor now. And when I was waiting for the soldering iron to warm up, I went to look for a short sensor cable. When I found one, I realized the plug is actually on this side of the ESC, just about right there. Fortunately, the motor wasn't mounted yet, so I lifted it and plugged them in on both sides, and I tucked it under the wire harness right below this. Okay, now we can move on to the receiver. All right, if you watch my channel enough, you know that I normally tuck the receiver wire like this and tape it onto the receiver for a cleaner look. But since this car already have the antenna tube, I'm just going to take advantage of it. And so I'm going to leave all the plugs on this side like that, making sure I can still see the servo hole right here, just fine. And now I can tape this on. All right, and before I finish today's video, let me just put one screw back on all of these plastic pieces to make sure there's clearance. It's all going to work. This one right here is a little bit tight. going to look something like that. I will tape this last because as soon as I tape it on there, I'm going to have to keep this plastic piece here. So I'm going to do a little bit cable management. And next video, I'm also going to install the servo. 
And after that, the electronics portion of this project is going to be done. And I'll move on to swapping out the dampers as well as the tires. So thanks for watching this video. If you got anything out of it, please drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.